Welcome to Cine Rap. Today, I present to you one of the finest action movies of the year, featuring Jason Statham. The film boasts an IMDb rating of 6.5, offering an alluring narrative packed with thrilling action, a superb production that commands your unwavering attention. I firmly believe this movie merits a higher IMDb rating. Let's now delve into the story and make our assessment. Movie titled, The Beekeeper. The film opens as a man named Adam Clay tends to the bees that he keeps in his place of living. He rents a space in a garage owned by a retired schoolteacher named Eloise Parker. While they both live alone, the two are friendly with one another, and Clay acknowledges Eloise as the only person who ever really took care of him. Eloise goes on her computer, which is hit by a virus warning. She calls the number on the phone, which links her to a call center operated by a phishing scam operation called United Data Group. The head of the center, Mickey Garnett, gathers his team of goons to listen in as he talks to Eloise. He tricks her into installing a supposed antivirus software, which links to all of her accounts, worth over $2 million from charities she runs, and they proceed to drain all of those accounts. Eloise realizes too late what has happened and is left in despair while the scammers gleefully celebrate their deception. Clay later goes to Eloise's house after she invited him over for dinner, and he brings her a jar of honey. He finds the door open and enters to investigate with a knife, before Eloise's daughter, FBI agent Verona Parker, arrives, both of them finding Eloise dead with a gunshot wound to her head and a loaded pistol and discharged bullet on the floor. Believing Clay murdered her mother, Verona has him arrested, but it is later concluded that Eloise tragically committed suicide. Verona apologizes to Clay and learns that he was close with her mother before her death. Additionally, she discovers that funds from all of her mother's accounts have been unlawfully taken. Clay contacts his old organization, the Beekeepers, to get info on the people who scammed Eloise. He is directed to the call center for UDG where he beats up two guards outside after they find him carrying two gas containers. Clay arrives at the call center and viciously beats a goon senseless to convince the other scammers that he is not playing around, which gets them to evacuate. Garnett shows up and tries to have security deal with Clay. He won't care of him. So Garnett calls the guards, but Clay attacks them too and then he wipes the floor with him before dousing the place with gas and then linking a bomb to blow up the call center the next time someone responds to one of their scam ads. This happens not seconds later, and the place is blown to bits. Verona joins her partner Matt Wiley to investigate the arson, while Garnett contacts his boss, Derek Danforth of Danforth Enterprises, a security company that runs the data mining scheme that UDG worked for, to inform him of what Clay did. Derek has Garnett and a team of his goons to go out to Eloise's home to track Clay down. After they shoot and destroy his beehive boxes, they find him and follow him into his garage. But Clay gets the drop on them and kills the first three goons before finding Garnett, severing his fingers with a bandsaw, and then throwing him into the back of a pickup truck. Clay drives the truck to a bridge and straps Garnett to the wheel of another truck while he is on the phone with Derek, who overhears everything as Clay sends the truck with Garnett into the river. Clay then promises to go after Derek next. Derek gets the company's chief of security, Wallace Westwild, to find out who Clay is. After learning he is a former beekeeper, Wallace realizes they are in danger and tells Derek he just pissed off the wrong type of guy. Wallace contacts Derek's mother. POTUS Jessica Danforth, who begs Wallace to protect her son. He then calls CIA Director Janet Howard over Clay's involvement, and with her help, they contact the beekeepers themselves to put out a bounty on Clay. Clay is at a gas station when he is found by his current replacement beekeeper, Anisette Landers. She attempts to ram her car into Clay before firing her gun at him. After he fights back, Anisette gets out a huge machine gun and unloads at Clay but misses every shot. He throws a jar of honey at her and then sets her on fire, killing her and then cutting off her index finger and keeping it. The gas station completely explodes due to the fire. Janet then informs Wallace of Anisette's death, and the beekeepers choose to remain neutral as the situation unfolds. Meanwhile, 
Verona and Wiley continue their investigation on the recent events, and Verona starts to piece together Clay's involvement. Wallace gathers a team of Special Forces guys and explains to them the threat that the beekeepers pose, as they are called in to rectify corrupt acts around the world. He warns them what Clay may be up to and dispatches them to go after him should he come closer to their operations. Sure enough, Clay is seen using Anisette's finger to enter a beekeeper base and find the address for Nine Points Center where Derek operates his call centers. He gears up and heads out to take care of them. An FBI team gathers after receiving funding from Deputy Director Prigg to head to the Nine Points building, but Wallace's team is already there. The head of the mercenary team, Pettis, orders the call center employees to evacuate in anticipation of Clay's arrival. He beats up the FBI guys before infiltrating the call center and fighting Pettis' guys, and then knocking out Pettis himself after a fight. After killing a bunch of guys in an elevator, Clay is pursued by Verona and Wiley and their guys. Clay interrogates the manager of the center by jamming staples into his hands until he gives up Derek's identity. Verona tries to talk Clay out of his vendetta, but he is adamant in finishing the job. When Wiley attempts to halt Clay, Clay assaults him without sustaining any damage, then proceeds to escape. Verona and Wiley then find evidence of Derek being the ringleader after Clay leaves. After Wallace learns that Clay got away again, he suggests to Derek that he stay with his mother for protection since she has secret service taking care of her. Afterwards, Derek phones his mother to inform her of his plans to visit her over the weekend. Derek goes to Jessica's beachside mansion. Meanwhile, Verona and Wiley debrief with Prig, coming to the conclusion that Clay is going after Jessica as a queen's layer, since it is believed that Jessica bankrolled her own campaign funding using stolen money. Prig gives them a blank check to do whatever it takes to stop Clay. The FBI and other people gather at the mansion as a party goes on. Clay sneaks in posing as Secret Service before entering the mansion. Wallace and Derek get ready with another team of mercs, plus a man, Lazarus, who claims to have killed a beekeeper at the cost of his leg. While this goes on, Derek and Jessica sit in a room with Prig, who asks them about UDG. As it turns out, Derek had funded all of Jessica's campaign with the stolen money, and the revelation brings her guilt. Meanwhile, Clay changes his attire before entering the mansion. Within the mansion, Clay is easily spotted by Verona, prompting her to quickly notify the security guards upon sighting him. Verona and Wiley, plus Lazarus, catch Clay outside, but he creates a distraction by setting off a bomb. Clay fights off more goons as he makes his way inside the mansion. When Prig learns the truth about Derek, he kills Prig as they wait for Clay to show up. Clay and Lazarus engage in a brutal fight before Clay stabs him to death. Clay tries to force open the door to the room where Jessica and Derek are. In the process, he injures Wallace's finger when Valles intervenes to stop him. Clay makes his way into Jessica and Derek's room as she gets ready to confess to Derek's crimes. Verona and Wiley also enter, trying to stop Clay from killing Jessica. When Derek refuses to stand down, he prepares to execute his mother, but Clay fires a shot into Derek's head first before jumping out the window. The Secret Service come to get Jessica out while she wails at the sight of Derek's corpse. Verona almost considers bringing Clay in but then allows him to escape, seeing as how justice for her mother and other victims has been served. As the other agents try to find Clay, he gets away by finding hidden scuba gear and swimming away. After Clay disappears, a single bee flies overhead.